page four, 10,000 reasons. Now in this book, there's a few things. This isn't really a method book. This is a repertoire book, but people have requested it, so I'll go ahead and cover it. They're not real helpful as far as what to do when. I have some suggestions to make, and when it comes to the pedaling, all they say is with pedal, and that's pretty much it throughout the book. That's fine if you know how to pedal. But that don't work so well if you don't know how to pedal. And I don't have your book in front of me where I can take a pencil and mark it up. So the pedaling part, we're going to have to keep fairly simple. And I'll talk about that a little later on in the video. Right here at the beginning, let's cover this one hand at a time. The biggest thing I've noticed about this book is the rhythms in the pieces are rather tricky in a lot of them. So we need to cover these rhythms very closely. And then I'll talk a little bit about interpreting eighth notes in the right hand. Just follow their fingering, it's fine. And one and two, and one and two, and three. And lift up and go down. And then again, watch the fingering. One and two, the last measure of the first line. One and two, and three, and four, and one. And then the chorus starts here. See, this piece has the chorus first and then the verse. The verse is on page 5. And, and, isn't that interesting? That's, that's, that's what they did. Some pieces do that. And hymnals and, and church music, they put the chorus first and then the verse. Others put the verse first and then the chorus. The point is you can have multiple verses. They'll have different words. And you'll look on page 5, you see there's three sets of words. There's three verses. But the chorus is always the same. So, chorus, second line. Pick up one and two and three and four and just reach up and move. Third line one and two and three and four and one and a lot of tied notes, so hang on to those. If that's messing you up, take out the tie temporarily and play all the notes. But once you can do that, put the tie back in. You think playing the second note, you're just hanging on to the first a little longer. And that's pretty much it for page four. Let's go over to page five. You're here and here. And then we start the verse. One and two and three. If you can, bring out the top note. I'm just putting a little more weight on that note. Remember the F sharps. Now that G is not tied. But that is tied. So it's the second line again is careful. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So you have to watch out on that. Just very slowly count it out. The left hand will help a little bit, but try and get these rhythms. It's the ties that will get you. Last measure, second line. Watch the fingering. It's a good one. And then in the third line down, you get one measure, two, four. The beat stays steady. The quarter notes don't change. Just, whatever speed you were going on quarter notes, that remains the same. So just... There, it just it just throws it off. That's a little syncopation, is it? Then the last measure of that line it's one and two and three and four and and again a two four one and two and one and two. Now in the last line there on page five, second measure here for the second GB, I recommend a. 2-4 here. That way you're in position for the chord. And then a 1-2-4 for the next chord. Here. This is the melody. We want. Actually the melody ends here. And you're done. You're not going to sing these other notes. That's just playing. But still bring out the top note a little bit. And then you repeat that back to over on page four where the reverse repeat sign is to the chorus. Now on page six, 
You got more of the same stuff we've had bad. Just follow. Just the rhythm, second line. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Just follow the rhythm and you'll get it fine, I think. Last line. One and two and three and they're saying one five. I recommend a one three first and then a one two five. And then the last chord. Left hand. Keep the left hand soft. It's all just helping out in the beginning. Second measure, 3 1. We're going to connect the bottom note. That's, that's what we want. And then the second line, 1 and 2 and here. Then it starts 1 and 2 and three and follow their fingering and two and three and then lift up we want to connect this anytime it appears connect you've got that before last line this doesn't sound too good by itself but wait it, it'll come last measure on page four is here one and two Lift up and go down. Now the first measure, top page five, the G is tied. So hang on to it, just add the D to it. Here. Should be straightforward, I think, until you get over to page six at the bottom. The last line you have here. In the last measure, they're saying two, one, five. Yuck. No. Two, it's one. Do a two, three, five. This is a chord. That's how we would finger it. So there's no, you don't need to cross under here. You can if you want to. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying, why cross over the thumb or under the thumb or do any crossing when you don't have to? So here it's one, two, three, five. So make sure you can get the, both hands the rhythm okay, and then we can attempt to put them together at the beginning. It's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and going a little fast. I do that for the videos because I don't want the video to last for two hours. But when you're doing it you go really 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 slow. So it's like the last measure, the pickup to the last measure on the third line. It's here but I could go four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three slow as you got to. I just tend to go a little faster than the videos. Top of page five. We're here. One and two and three and four. Wonderful. Let's go to the second line on page five again. Carefully. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You just got to keep going over that. Go back one hand at a time again if you have to, but keep going over those two measures until you get that rhythm. That's tricky. It really is. Third line down. Let's go here. One and two and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So, 
go over to page six. Second measure there on page six, we're here. Three and four and. While I'm here thinking about it in the right hand, on page six, third line down, first measure, I would do a one four and then a one five. It's a melody. And they're saying two four, it's up to you. You can do a one a one two and then lift up if you want. Over their feet. I prefer one two and then I'll lift up. You get that worked out and you kind of add in the dynamics. The dynamics on these pieces are all suggestions. You get to know the piece really well and if you're going to sing it, you'll sing it and you'll feel that you'll feel how loud or soft you need to get. You don't always do it at the same level. You got to get a little louder and soft. You got to feel it. They're suggesting medium loud at the beginning. That's the right hand. Left hand has to stay soft throughout the whole piece. It's just retardando there and then and what we do a play with me here I'm gonna hold that for two counts in the left hand two counts and then we go on need to play all of this with you to demonstrate because it's just a soft sweet piece. As far as the roadmap goes you have a repeat sign at the bottom of page five. You have a one comma two there. It's first and second endings. In other words you're going to play you're going to repeat twice. This first and second ending. You, do, you repeat. That's so you can get all the verses in. When we do the play with me I'm only going to repeat once and then we'll go on. And then you, on the third time or the last time you're doing it, you'd skip that measure and go over to page six and then go on and finish the book. Now as far as this pedal goes, let's talk about this. With pedal, it's dangerous. What I get the feeling in going through this book of what they really kind of want you to do is legato pedal everything because that keeps it simple. What I'm going to encourage you to do is Listen very carefully, play it, learn it without the pedal first so you can hear it, and then listen very carefully to the effect the pedal is having to the sound, and change the pedal either with the harmony or if it starts to sound blurry because of all the eighth notes. To start with, I'm going to change the pedal every two beats. It just kind of works out that way. So here it's going to be legato pedal or lagging pedal. The, the pedal lags behind the hands. So I put the note down first and then, then the pedal. Then I'll, I'll play the notes and then change the pedal. first measure and second line I lift the pedal up with the hands so those two eighth notes are by themselves and I don't pedal the eighth notes here. Now I can pedal. Every two beats and in the last measure of that second line those last two eighth notes I don't pedal those. The right hand stays down it's a half note. 
anywhere else that's like that in this piece, I'll lift the pedal up so those are by themselves and clean. So the last measure of the second line is here. And again, the third line, second measure, those last two eighth notes, I'm going to lift the pedal up and not pedal the eighth notes. The left hand stays down, it's a half note. And the last line, I'm pedaling the first three beats separately. And the last line, the second measure, I'm not pedaling the last two beats, the last two eighth notes. Then go on. First measure of the page five, I lift the pedal up with the right hand, I don't pedal the eighth notes. down first measure I'm pedaling each beat there on that two two four bar and then the next measure I'm lifting the pedal up on the third beat and the last line in the two four bar I pedal each beat two eighth notes. When you repeat, the left hand stays down. It's and that's it's still blurry in my mind. I don't like that really great, but it's it's better than holding the pedal down through every measure, which some people will do. like that sound at all. I think it's way too blurry. So at least pedal it every two beats. And in some cases you got to pedal it every beat, like at the bottom of page four here. Pedal each. That's okay. And then over on page five on those two bars. Now on page six it's similar to that. At the top of page six, I don't pedal the last two eighth notes in the first measure. the second measure, last two eighth notes, there's a rest in the left hand, I want those eighth notes by themselves, so it's... So that's it. Most of the time it's pedaling at every two beats throughout. I'd like to do a play with me, uh, because there's a page turn involved, I'm going to do pages four and five. I'm going to count us in. We'll play those with the repeat one time. And then when we get down to the bottom of page five, right before the first ending, I'll stop. Turn the page. I'll count us in again. I'll give us another four counts. And then we'll play page six. So let's try that together slowly. This is to check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not doing dynamics or any of that. So put your hands where they go. I'll give us four counts. One and two and ready and go and.
two, and ready, and go, and...